And there are families out there that don't know the importance of chores for the family. That don't know that kids in the modern world should contribute a little bit. Whenever I think about chores and the research on chores and the lack of consistent chores for the family that's happening in so many families around here these days. Y'all you know other people's family, not yours, right? <laughs> Whenever I think of this, I think of this wonderful woman down in Texas. I mentioned my friend, the 87-year-old first grade teacher. She's the one who taught me this. We were working away. She raised her bony old 87-year-old hand in the air. And she said, Bob, back in the old days, we never had any problem getting our kids to do chores. I said, why? She said it was simple. If nobody went out and picked eggs in the morning, I couldn't cook breakfast. If no one out and split, if no one went out and split the firewood and brought it inside, I couldn't keep the cook stove warm. We were a team. We were a family. We needed each other. We helped each other. Everybody knew we we're part of a team. Are there kids today that don't feel part of a team? I want your kids by the time they're 10, 11, 12 years old, to cook one family meal per week. I want your kids, by the time they're two and three years old, to be helping you sort socks and set the table. Is it possible that a three-year-old will set the table badly? <laughs> Is that still okay? Is it possible that a four-year-old who's out raking leaves with dad will make some piles and then make a mess? Is that okay? Should we be practicing chores within a social context with brothers or sisters or moms and dads until kids are about seven years old? And then they start to be ready for more independent chores. Is it possible that there's one in this group today who would say to me like one mom did, Bob, you're always preaching about chores. I, you say chores are so important. I try to get my kids to do chores. I send them down to the basement. They just play. They make a big old mess. They won't do chores. I go down there. They're just playing and been playing. Big old mess down there. Chores don't work for my kids. I said, how old are they? She said, they're three and they're four. <laughs> I'm sending them downstairs to clean the basement. Well, there's got to be a little common sense here some days. And then I went out to a beautiful school out in Oakland County a while back, teaching a group of parents of high school age kids. There were 400 or more people in the audience in this beautiful auditorium. Oh, it was a gorgeous school. And at some point in the audience, I felt like asking one of those questions. I thought I could get an honest answer. We'd had a little fun. I thought I had some rapport. I could ask him one of those tough questions. And it was, OK, how many of your high school kids, on average, knowing that every once in a while there's a busy day with sports and extracurriculars and such. But who on average do 15 to 20 minutes worth of chores for the family? This is not slave labor, is it? 15 or 20 minutes of helping out the family? Is this a pretty good lifestyle these kids have? Is this the best bargain going in this universe? How many of you have kids that do 15 to 20 minutes worth of chores on average for the family. I could count the hands in that audience. You're a bunch of educators, you know this stuff. In that group of affluent parents, more than 400 people, only one, two, three, four hands went up in the air. It's a plague in this country. We're teaching kids to be whiny, entitled, ungrateful, narcissistic, self-serving, self-satisfied little beings who don't understand the privilege of doing for others, who don't feel the connection that comes with doing for others. We are sacrificing their character for our own ease, and sometimes with some cockamamie excuse, oh, they're only children once. Nobody else does chores. It's too hard. It takes too much effort on my part to get them to do them. It's just easier to do them myself. Turn to your friend and ask this question. Does it take backbone and strength of character as a parent to get kids to do chores in the modern age? Ready, set, go. One minute. I'm hoping there's a skeptic out there in the group who's going to go home tonight 
and you're going to go to a search engine and you're going to Google chores and school success or chores and life success. And you're going to see the plethora, oh, I love using words like that, don't you? The plethora of research there is that shows the kids who do chores for the family are happier. They're nicer to be around. They do better in school. They play more nicely with other children. They are more respectful of adult authorities. Kids who do chores for the family are less likely to get into trouble with sex and drugs in middle school and high school. More likely to complete high school. More likely to go on for advanced training after high school. More likely to have stable adult relationships. More likely to be successful on the job. How can you not help your kids learn to do chores for the family, not just for themselves?